July 7th. On this day, we keep the memory of the holy, glorious martyr Kiriaki. During Diocletian's reign, a devout and affluent Christian couple, Dorotheus and Eusebia, who were childless, they begged God to give them offspring, promising to consecrate the child to him. Their prayer was heard, and they had a daughter on a Sunday, and therefore called the child Kiriaki, which means Sunday in Greek. Having her baptized, they brought her up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, and faithful to their promise, they preserved her virginity in order to consecrate her to the Lord's service. One day a wealthy pagan who lived in the town, having heard reports of the beauty and morals of the young virgin, decided to marry her to his son. But when he went to suggest this to her, Kiriaki told him that she was espoused to Christ and that she wished to die in virginity. The nobleman in fury went and denounced both her and her parents to Emperor Diocletian as rebels against his authority. The sovereign summoned them and asked them why they rejected the gods of the empire. Dorotheus replied courageously that he had learned from his parents to worship the one and only God, the creator of heaven and earth, who was incarnate for our salvation. He was thrashed, but as under the blows he continued to mock the idols, the emperor, seeing that he was gaining nothing more, sent him and Eusebia to Justus, the governor of Melitini in Little Armenia. Justus put them to torture and conferred on them the crown of martyrdom by beheading them both. As for St. Kyriaki, Diocletian sent her to his son-in-law, Caesar Maximian, who lived in Nicomedia. Having admired her dazzling beauty, Maximian summoned her and told her that he would marry her to one of the emperor's kinsmen if she would be willing to honor the gods. But the frail girl remained inflexible and told him that nothing could separate her from the love of Christ. The tyrant then had her pegged out on the ground and ordered that she be beaten to death with ox sinews. The exhausted soldiers were changed three times, but the saint remained insensible to the blows and was only the more radiant with grace. Maximian, believing that his men, out of pity for the young virgin, were not using all their strength, turned his wrath on them. The saint then addressed him, Don't fool yourself, Maximian. You will never overcome me, as God is here to help me. Fearing that he would once more be an object of ridicule, the emperor had her taken to Hilary, governor of Bithynia, a man known for his cruelty towards Christians. Having read the letter from Maximian that accompanied the captive, Hilary threatened the saint with unheard of tortures. Kiriaki replied that it would be easier to damp down fire than to make her submit and when they passed flaming torches over her body, after having hung her up by her hair, she remained impassable, as though she were already clothed in the incorruption promised to the elect. The following night, Christ visited her in the prison, healing her and promising to deliver her from all the trials by his grace. In the morning, the tyrant was amazed to see her unhurt, but ascribing this miracle to the gods, he had her taken to the idol temple. On going into the temple, the saint knelt and prayed to Christ, and the building immediately collapsed, and the idols fell to the ground, breaking into thousand pieces, that a violent wind then dispersed, and the pagans who were present were put to flight. Hilary alone was continuing to blaspheme when a light clove the sky and burned the governor's face, and falling from his seat, he died on the spot. He was replaced by another magistrate called Apollonius, who, having been informed of the events that were troubling the province, summoned the saint before him again and condemned her to be burned alive. After having lit a great furnace, the soldiers threw Kiriaki in. She remained for several hours in prayer, her hands raised to heaven without the flames burning her in the least. 
as it was summertime and the sky was clear, a black cloud appeared and a contrary wind put out the fire. Apollonius then ordered that two lions be let loose on her, but as soon as they went up to her, the beasts became as gentle as lambs and laid down at the saints' feet. Many pagans who had been witnesses of these prodigies then confessed Christ and were immediately executed. On the following day, a further interrogation before the governor also proved useless. Realizing then that he would not be able to overcome Christ's valiant athlete with either flattery or torture, Apollonius condemned her to death by the sword. Taken out of the town, the saint asked the executioners to allow her a moment for prayer. And falling to her knees, he addressed a long prayer to Christ, who had given her the strength to witness to his name before kings and princes, and who had preserved her virginity to the day of her mystical marriage. Bright angels came to take her soul and present it to her spouse, and she sank gently to the ground. The soldiers who were preparing to behead her were astounded at finding her already dead. They then heard a voice from heaven saying, Brethren, go and tell everyone about God's wonders. While they were on their way to give an account of all they had seen to the governor, some Christians who had remained hidden for fear of the pagans took the saint's body and buried it in a worthy place, giving thanks to God in his saints. Amen. Glory to you, God, glory to you. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, you are everywhere and feeling all things. Treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Thou didst prove an auspicious and pleasing sacrifice, a holy offering of the alien prize winner, Kyriaki, when thou broughtest thy Creator, thine unspotless soul, which Christ in turn has glorified, for through thee he poureth forth divine gifts and endless graces. Upon the faithful who praise thee, since he is verily the friend of man. Come, ye people, let us chant to him, to Christ our God, who divided the sea and guided the people whom he had brought forth out of the bondage of Egypt, for he has been glorified. O holy martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Let us joyously form a choir on the memory of the prize-winning martyr, and let us cry, 
By her entreaties, O compassionate Saviour Christ, save thy world. Holy Mater Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Enlightened with thy brightness, O friend of man, the glorious Kyriaki, escape from the darkness of deceitful polytheism, and she has made the light of healings to flash like lighting upon all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And thou might become well-pleasing unto Christ, an immortal bridegroom, Thou didst reckon death, fire, and torments as naught, wherefore thou wast deemed worthy of immortal glory. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou didst check the force of death, O pure one, when thou gavest birth to Christ, the provider of immortality, whom beholding dead of his own free will, Hades tremble. Make us steadfast in thee, O Lord, who by the tree has slain sin, and plant thy fear in the hearts of us who hymn thee. O holy Marty Kyriaki, pray to God for us. The word of God, loving thee in his utter goodness, took thee to himself as his bride, pure, inviolate, and splendidly shining forth in the beauty of thy soul. Holy Marty Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Withering up thine outward beauty, O martyr, thou didst secretly reveal thine inward gracefulness unto him that knows what is hidden. This cause he betrothed thee to himself. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst flourish like a sacred and beautiful branch from a holy root, O Virgin Mata Kyriaki, and thou bearest comely fruit which brought thee the delight that grows not old. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou gavest birth to the anipostatic wisdom of God, O Virgin, Thou alone art without blame, free me by thy mediation from him that is killed in wickedness. With bright beams of purity, O all-themed Kyriaki, didst thou put forth flower as a fragrant lily for Christ within the martyric veils. For thou wast enlightened with the rays of God-knowledge, driving off the foul and noisome ruin of error. O martyr, for this cause we observe thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Of old, when the barren woman saw thee coming to her, and when the sound of thy salutation rang in her ears, she marvelled sore at the deed. From within she knew thee at thy greeting, O virgin, for the babe leapt in her womb as she was instructed about the incarnation of God in thine holy womb. I have heard, O Lord, of thy glorious dispensation, and I have glorified thine unapproachable power, O thou who lovest mankind. O holy martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Thou stoods of the tribunal, O Kyriaki, being judged unjustly and gazing steadfastly upon the righteous judge. Holy martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Thou gaze thy corporeal members to tortures, O virgin, and didst drown thine incorporeal enemies in the streams of thy blood. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou abodes and abased in the experience of torments, O Kyriaki, and thou brought slow the old he brought. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rescue from all despiteful use of the enemy, them that know thee to be truly the mother of God, O all pure virgin. O Lord, bestow of light and creator of the ages, guide us in the light of thy commandments, for we know none other God than thee. O holy martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Thou who verily madest thy pure soul to be a temple of God, O Kyriaki, didst raise the idol's temples to the ground by calling upon Christ who gave thee strength. Holy Mother Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Thou didst lift up thy hands and mind unto Christ, O glorious Kyriaki, and with a fearful earthquake thou struck down to the earth the godless, 
who were bowed down and could not see. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With a living voice from on high, the God of all gave thee boldness to bear the torches of the lawless with a courageous mind, that thou mightst put on the crown of victory. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou didst lose the curse of our forefathers, O August and Immaculate Lady, when without the will of the flesh thou gavest birth to him that of his own divine will has verily given being to all things. Compassed by the abyss of my many sins, I invoke the boundless abyss and unfathom deep of thy compassion, O my Christ. Raise me out of corruption, O Lord my God. O holy martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Thou didst exceed the bones of nature in thy contest beyond nature, O all famed Kyriaki, and with thy great pains thou didst mortally wound him that wounded thee. Holy martyr be Kyriaki, pray to God for with us. With the drops of thy blood, O all venerable maiden, thou didst dry up the deep of polytheism, and made the sea of healings to gush forth unto them that approach with faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. At the judgment seat, the wild beasts reverenced thee, the inviolate ewe lamb, and they rendered thee worship, since thou didst worship Christ, O glorious Kyriaki. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most graced of God, who as queen didst conceive the King and Lord, count them that have recourse to thee worthy of the kingdom of the heavens. The martyr of Christ has called us all together now, to praise and acclaim her wrestlings and her godly feats. For possessed of manliness of mind, she has proved worthy of her name, being lady and mistress of her mind and the passions and of unseemliness. When the error of the idols held sway and was vigilant over all the earth, O lovers of Christ, and when a man more profane and in inhuman than all men was Lord, the abominable and ill-famed religion of the godless was worshipped. For the multitudes were obedient to his most godless voice, since he threatened with a harsh and miserable death them that would not submit to his impiety. But the martyr of Christ, bidding in contempt upon the tyrant's godless commands and threats, and proclaiming Christ God in the midst of the stadium, trampled down the enemy. Wherefore she was truly seen to be lady and mistress of her mind and the passions of unseemliness. To be lady and mistress of her mind and the passions of unseemliness. When the golden image was worshipped on the plain of Dira, thy three who spurned the ungodly command and cast into the midst of the fire, be do they sang. Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers, O holy martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. As thou stood in the midst of the furnace, in no wise burned, thy mind was made to shine with the light of love of God, and thou wast shown to be indomitable, O virgin, singing to thy Creator, Blessed art thou, the God of our fathers. Holy martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. The furnace in no wise burns either the three children before, nor the mother now, for she stood praying in the midst of it, and shaken, receiving divine dew, and crying out in praise, Blessed art thou, the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the sword of thy boldness thou slews the enemy of the truth, O virgin martyr, longing to inherit the glory that abides forever, O Kyriaki, and crying out, Blessed is the God of our Father. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The only God found thy womb alone to be pure, and he put on a body and is known as a man that saves man. Wherefore, knowing thee to be the cause of good things, we chant, Blessed are thou who didst conceive God in the flood. To the Lord God who did descend to the Hebrew children in the fiery furnace and transformed the flames and the burning heat into dew. Chant praises and hymns of all ye works of his, and exalt him greatly to ages and all ages. 
O holy martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Thou art known to be a bride of Christ, adorned with the beauty of virginity, as with varied colours, O Kyriaki. Therefore he himself has worthily deemed thee worthy of the heavenly bride chambers, as thou dost praise him unto the ages. Holy martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Like Daniel, thou wast cast in the midst of all beasts while glorifying Christ, and by the divine spirit, O Virgin, thou didst manifestly transform their brutish nature. Wherefore we honour thee unto all the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. As thou wast led like a ewe lamb to the slaughter, out of longing for the word and lamb of God, O martyr, he took pity on thee, since he is compassionate, and sent radiant angels, who loosed thee from the body before the stroke of the sword. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God, the transcendent in essence, received our essence from thee, O Virgin, and he who existed before the ages with the Father and the Divine Spirit was seen as a babe. Wherefore we glorify thee as his mother. With one accord, let us faithful Lord with him, God the Word, who came forth from God and who ineffably took on flesh from a pure virgin for us, and in wisdom past telling descended to make Adam new again, who by eating fell grievously down into corruption's pits. O holy martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. With utmost confidence in God, O Virgin, thou didst thrust aside the fury of all beasts and fire and the painfulness of bodily torments with nobility of mind. For this cause, O Martyr, we bless thee with faith and longing. Holy Martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Be decking the fairest beauty of thy soul, for thy most fair bridegroom thou kept thy virginity undefiled, and has offered him as dowry the torches of thy members, O all-famed Martyr Kyriaki. Holy Martyr Kyriaki, pray to God for us. Thy much contending body, buried in the earth, wells up river of healings for them that piously draw nigh, and it wipes away the stain of passions and casts into the deep the demons' evil assaults, O Kyriaki, thou bride of God, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thine all-holy memorial is risen upon us like the Son, O Virgin Martyr Kyriaki, chasing away the clouds of passions and enlightening all who joyously honour thee with true faith and bless thee with longing. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We who know thee to be the Theotokos, so O all holy virgin, are enlightened by faith with the exceedingly bright rays of him that was unfathomably incarnate of thee. And we are delivered from the darkness of the passions and from all manner of perils and every adversity. Thou didst prove an auspicious and pleasing sacrifice, a holy offering of valiant prize winner Kyriaki, when thou broughtest thy Creator, thine own spotless soul, which Christ in turn has glorified, for through thee he poureth forth divine gifts and endless graces. Upon the faithful who praise thee, since he is verily the friend of man. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, all true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, at the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, 
Ora ne vajona, kalamba vajona, kenneth ron and molug. All the saints of all these islands, all protectors and all benefactors. At the prayers of our Father among the saints, Thomas of Mount Malion. With the prayers of the Holy Martyr, Kiriaki of Nicomedia. With the prayers of the Holy Martyrs, Peregrinus and those with him, Lucian, Pompey, Hezekias, Papia, Saturninus and Germanus of Italy, who were martyred by drowning. With the prayers of the Holy Hard Martyr Eustatius, who was perfected in martyrdom by fire. With the prayers of the Holy Martyr Polycarp, who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of the Holy Hard Martyr Evangelus, the Bishop of Tomi in Moesia. With the prayers of our Father among the saints, Iliades, the Bishop of Clermont in Gaul. With the prayers of our righteous Father, Acacius the Obedient, who is mentioned in the ladder. With the prayers of our righteous mother, Euphrosyne, the great princess of Moscow. With the prayers of Saint Melruan, Saint Illitud, with the prayers of Saint Boishel, with the prayers of Saint Madron, Saint Oron, Saint Marin of Cornwall, Saint Argonta, Saint Ethelburga, Saint Hedda of Winchester, Saint Sethrida, with the prayers of Saint Willibald of Wessex, the Bishop and Enlightener of Bavaria. With the prayers of all the saints whose memory we keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Dana, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. With the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.